So first of all, for those of you that don't know, for, so I, I think most of you know who I am. If you don't, um, then let me just introduce myself. My name is Michael Hellickson. I'm one of the coaches here at Club Wealth. Uh, as a real estate agent, I was consistently listing and selling over 100 homes a month. Uh, now as a coach, I'm blessed. I get to coach some of the top agents across the country. In fact, we are now officially the number one coaching company in the team space. We're pretty yeah. excited. Yeah! How cool is that? I know, man. <laughs> We're excited. We're actually yeah. twice as big as the next coach's closest coaching company in the team space. Uh, and frankly, we I love our folks, man. We got so many great people in Club Wealth. It's awesome. I'm so excited. It's just, it's life couldn't be better. So that being said, today with me is my very good friend for a very, very long time, Mr. Mike Quaylos. And here's the thing, you guys, I like to be around people that are smarter than me. And, th and that's really easy to do. All you have to do is hang out with Cuevas, right? And so, I, I series, very honestly, I really love to surround myself with people that are smarter than me. I like to be the dumbest person in the room. And so, I, you know, when I'm around Mike and Sam and those guys, I always feel like I'm the dumbest person in the room and I learn a ton. And so, today, uh, Mike is going to be sharing some stuff with us about video and, and marketing and relationship marketing and all that. And so, Mike, I'm going to let you explain what you're going to be talking with us about today. Um, but you guys, I want you to listen to Mike, okay? There are very few people in this world that I would say, when he speaks, you need to, you need to listen. It's like the EF Hutton commercials of old, right? I sort of like this. I like where you're going with this. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Like, so we call them Club Wealth faculty, right? They're not paid uh, by Club Wealth, but they're people that we feel like are smart enough that if they tell you to do something, you probably ought to listen to what they're saying. Like, you probably ought to give it a shot. Uh, and Mike is definitely one of those guys. And so uh, Mike is actually also going to be speaking at the Business Strategy Mastermind Conference coming up in November. Uh, we're just a few weeks away. Uh, and so we're super excited. Mike's going to be on the main stage uh, at that event. And that event Guys, if you haven't got your tickets to the Business Strategy Mastermind Conference yet, you better get them. Because if you don't get them right away, you're not going to be getting in. Uh, we, uh, about a, less than a week ago, we had 48 tickets left. And right now, we are below 30 tickets already uh, just in a week. So I don't know if it's going to sell in the next few days or if we may still have tickets a week from now. But I doubt it. So, like, get them right away. So that being said, Mike Cuevas, tell us who you are and where you're from and what we're going to learn from you today. What's up, dudes? Um, <laughs> I am from, well, I'm actually sort of in between places. I'm originally from Chicago, born and raised. And uh, literally about two months ago, I just moved out to uh, beautiful, sunny San Diego. I'm now SoCal. And I actually think I belong here. Um, I just feel a lot more at home. Don't wear, you know, I'm, I'm actually wearing jeans today, but I'm sort of pissed I had to wear shoes. So um, it's usually sandals and that's it. But <laughs> What I started doing over the last like three, four, five years, I've been working on a platform I built called Attractor. And um, my whole thing is like on brand, building the brand and relationship marketing and referral generation. I've never been um, one to be, you know, I'm great at converting people on the phone, but honestly, I've never been one to chase after, you know, internet leads and purchased internet leads or any of that source. Mm -hmm. I sort of built my own brand and uh, it sort of just took care of itself. And I think that's what we're going to be talking about today with video is literally building your brand utilizing video and how to use the video because let's face it um i mean you're seeing it all over the place look on your freaking news feeds right now there's video coming on just about every bit you can possibly imagine and look it, it's it's pretty simple when you see everybody else doing so, doing everything you either get on that bandwagon or be left behind and um that's what we're gonna get in today so let me ask you a question real quick michael um I could do this through a PowerPoint or I could just talk this through. It's really up to which way you wanted to go ahead and, ha and have this because we keep this conversational. We could keep it any which way. I have videos I could share with our guests that we could look at and uh, see, but, or we could just talk about it. It's up to you. I'll tell you what, man. I say the people that are on, why don't you guys type into your, uh, into your chat box or into the Q&A box, which you'd prefer. But well, let's, I say for starters, let's start conversational. And, and, and I say it because so often we get so formal with, you know, you know, PowerPoints and all this other stuff. And I really, I really feel like right now I just want to, I want to start off by just having a conversation with you because I'm really passionate about video as well. And I'll tell you, like if we, Mike and I talked about this on a webinar about a year ago and we told people, we said, you got to watch Facebook. Facebook is going to take over YouTube. Uh, you know, they're, they are, they're pushing videos super, super hard uh, to, to, you know, they're promoting the videos uh, at a higher level than they do any other content, right? So if you're posting on Facebook, for example, uh, at the, the bottom in terms of, of the ranking that you get in their algorithm is just text. The next ranking is picture. The next ranking is video. And then the higher ranking above that is Facebook Live. I'll give you an example. I jumped on Facebook Live last night. 
for four minutes. I had 92 people in four minutes jump on just like that. And it was unannounced. It was just a quick, you know, it was just a little thing that I just needed to do. I needed to get it out there. And it was that fast. Video is taking over. Facebook now has more video on it than YouTube. That yeah. is, it's insane. So Mike, you have led the industry in not only just getting out there with video first, but in terms of what you've done. And Paula, I love your, what you're saying. You want to hear us do conversation with some sample videos. I want to see some of Mike's sample videos too. I could, I'll switch the sample videos up when we get to those page, stages. So um, okay. yeah, we can do that. Perfect. Because well, I mean, here's the, here's the thing. I want to know from you, first of all, why video, how video, I mean, just walk us through it. All right. So first off, let me just get everybody on, on the point. Everyone's like, Oh my God, I'm going to go do some freaking videos and I'm going to become, I'm going to create a million, million, million leads. Folks, video is a brand building strategy. It's a communication channel. It's not a lead generation channel. The only reason video works is because it allows you to communicate more effectively. Video is all about communication. And now it's like how we're communicating. Look at this, like this thing we're using right here, this Zoom meeting, we didn't have this two years ago. Like you guys could see us live, like talking, you can interact in our body language. You can see what I'm doing right here. You can tell by the tone of my voice and how I'm talking. And it's more effective than just watching the PowerPoint because it's on video. That's right. So first and foremost, let's go through and break down because we got a lot to cover. And um, let's break down the two different types of audiences. Um, because I like looking at video in terms of how we're going to use it. And there's two different types of audiences that we're going to use to, to use our video. Like what we're going to learn today is how to get the most amount of mileage out of the videos you create. Because the truth is, if nobody watches your stuff, what the hell's the point of doing it to begin with? So first and foremost, um, video is by far the best thing, I believe, for your warm marketing efforts, okay? To your warm audiences, which are, you know, what, what does that mean, Mike? What the hell is a warm audience? Well, a warm audience are the people your database. You know, it's your Facebook friends, it's your LinkedIn friends, it's your Instagram connections, it's your email list, it's your direct mail list. It's anyone that you know or know of you. It's anyone that you would expect um, to do business with you and videos on how you, you could use video to keep your brand in front of them simply so you're just not forgotten about. And here's why it's important. I'm on my, I'm, I'm doing all kinds of videos on this right now. I'm on my newsfeed, right? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm on my newsfeed. And then, you know, you might be just making your kid breakfast in the morning. You just get done putting the eggs. You check your Facebook, you're on your newsfeed. You're like, oh my God, John Doe just bought a house without me. What the hell is wrong? And then you're so angry. And the problem is, is that John Doe isn't, don't take it personal. It's just that John Doe forgot what the hell you do for a living. And they don't remember that you're in real estate. And video is all about That's using right. it as a, as a way to better communicate with your existing audience, right? So- um, it's a brand building strategy for referrals and repeat business. In other words, when you're out of sight, you're out of mind. And that's what you have to understand a lot about video because it amplifies your referral marketing efforts first and foremost. Yeah. So we had an agent here, um, the other day and, uh, we did some videos and let me just share this screen. Cause I just want to show you a basic, um, a basic, uh, see if this works here. While you're doing that, Mike, while you're getting that to work, I got to tell you guys, Mike is hitting the nail on the head. All the time, I get comments from people because you guys know we do a ton of video. I mean, today alone, I'm on six hours of video for different different things. And, and, and what I want you guys to understand is literally I get calls on a very regular basis or I'm on calls on a regular basis where people will say, I feel like I already know you. I watch your right. videos all the time, so I feel like I already know you. That's what you guys need to accomplish. You're building a relationship, not one-to-one, -one, but one-to-many. And so what happens is when you're who you are, when you're authentic with yourself, right, and you're who you really are on video just as you are in person, the right people will be attracted to you. Like I'll give you an example. Not everybody's going to be attracted to me. There are people that would be attracted to Mike that probably wouldn't be attracted to me because Mike has a different style than I do. Mike's a lot harder core. He's, you know, he's a lot more fun than I am. Let's call it what it is, right? I mean, you know, I'm not a very fun guy. I'm kind of a, you know, straight arrow, you know, straight lace kind of guy. But at the end of the day, we both attract kind of different people. And, it, and when we do attract those people, it's the right people for us. And it comes a lot because of our videos. So yep. go ahead. So let me share a story with you and put this in the context. And I'm going to show you why it works and why you use it for referral marketing efforts. So we have an agent here in Big Block and, um, you know, we had our video guy fly out. He was doing some videos here and he's talking to this agent. He's like, dude, you should really just do this. He calls this an intro video. You should really just do this intro video. Here's an agent that's been in the business for about two years, two, three years, give or take. She's doing very, very, very well. You know, she's traditional prospecting type, um, 
you know, going after expireds, cancels, you know, what, what we're, most of us are trained to do. So what she ended up doing is she just put in a little simple videos, like 30 seconds, right? And all she did was just say what she does for a living. There wasn't anything rocket science about it. It wasn't that, but she got three referrals within a 24 hour period. And the question is, why did that happen? Well, the numbers, the writing's on the wall, folks. And 61% of all business, according to NAR, this isn't my fantasy like numbers that I could have because it speaks to everything that I'm teach and preach, but it's the truth. 61% of business came from people you already know or know of, not from complete strangers, not from technology, not from email autoresponders, not from like, you know, super duper Facebook lead ads. They came from the people, you know, I don't know about you, but I like to put, I like to put my marketing efforts where the largest majority of business comes from. And this is why it works. Okay. Very simple. According to melissadata.com, 14.19% of the United States population is moving this year. So this isn't rocket science. This is, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, my market stays here longer. Fine, cut me some slack. 10 to 15% of people in your market are moving this year, okay? So let me ask you a question. Um, the reason, if that many people are moving in your market this year, you sort of want to gather, you want to recoup some of that business, right? But this isn't the primary reason. Like, it makes common sense. If, if you keep your brand in front of the people that love you, know you, like you, trust you, and would do business with you if they remember you, of course you're going to recoup some of that business. But that's not why I primarily market my database. I market it because every single one of them knows someone who's, live, who's moving this year that they could refer me to. So that's the first problem I see with just overall referral marketing efforts is that you look, and agents, not you personally, but, you know, Agents in general look at their databases. Oh, I'm going to get their direct business. I'm going to get their direct business. No, you're going to get their referral business. That's why you do it. You're going to get their referral based business. That's the whole point of it because all of them know somebody who's uh, moving this year. So I'm going to stop that screen share and come back. So you understand why it's important for warm marketing or referral marketing is it amplifies your communication efforts. Does that make sense, Michael? Absolutely. And you know, you were talking about with, with, for example, with the, the gal for big block, we, um, and I forgot her name. I apologize, but the, on the other screen, but you've got Christy Gray is one of our coaches actually. She's coaching client and club office. She's also one yes. of our coaches uh, who's also in that office. And she is just to, to your point, she posts a lot of videos that are just her being her. It's just, Hey, I'm Christy. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm fun. You know, yeah. I, can I share on that what she's doing? So she has a, yes. now, that I'm in, now that I'm in San Diego, I get all of her ads. And as of last night, if I'm not mistaken, she has one video of her just being herself, right? And her whole brand is the honest agent. So like her play is her just being honest. And that's the whole freaking point, people, is that you don't have to talk about real estate. If you're constantly selling, 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 you're constantly, you know, you could, you don't have to turn, not to your database, I mean. You don't have to constantly be selling to your database because right. of those numbers I shared with you. Right. However, the Facebook ad that she's running here had 19 shares, like 100 comments or something insane. And it's nothing rocket science of, except her being herself. And it's just the way that she's communicating so much more effectively. And, yeah, and people are naturally attracted to that. Correct. Yes, yeah. they are. They are. The same way why people would rather watch this video of us than listen to a PowerPoint, right? It's the same, yeah, exact, it's the same exact thing. Now, let's go to the other side and think about potential cold audiences you could use video for. And it could be for your farming efforts. It could be for FISBOs, expireds, absentee owners, people getting divorced, notice of defaults. All right, when you're creating video content for a cold lead generation strategy, it cannot be generalized. It needs to be specific. And that's my point um, I want to get. But here's the main point, regardless of how you're using it, whether it's warm, whether it's cold traffic you're going after, video is a communication channel. All right. Mm -hmm. Email is a distribution channel. Text is a distribution channel. Social media is a distribution channel. You use video within these distribution channels to amplify your message. And honestly, today, video, I think it's the pattern interrupt that separates you from the herd of realtors just because nobody else is doing it. Yeah. Well, ultimately, the, the tool is connecting. And we have to go back to how communication is perceived. And it's very, very simple. So you, um, you talk about that. I, I want to stop you right there for just a second. Because you're talking about amplification. So we, you know, I used to do a lot of TV and radio advertising. If at one point in my career when I was, you know, I, we were literally spending over $40,000 a month on TV and radio. Now, granted, we were making $450,000, $460,000 a month at the time. So it was worth it. 
But the reason we did it was not because we thought we were going to get direct response. It was not about getting people to call us from the TV or the radio ad and do business with us. It was about making all of our other marketing do better. It yeah. amplified yeah. everything we did on all the rest of our marketing. And what's interesting is now, instead of spending $40,000 on TV and radio, I can spend $6,000 on Facebook and, and posting videos to Facebook and get as much or better return than I did on that $40,000. Yep. It's, it's, it's insane. That, that's the thing, folks. It's not a lead generation strategy. It's in a more effective communication strategy, okay? And this is why. Mm -hmm. You have to understand how communication is perceived. The agent that converts a lot communicates better than the one who doesn't. That's all that's right. this is, okay? It's nothing rocket science. And 60% of communication is based on tone of the way I'm talking right now. So now you guys are all fucking looking at me. You're like, oh my God, he's talking you're crazy. Right. If I'm talking very boring, I'm going to be like, oh, but you see me too. Do la -li. Well, God, right? Dude, I love your angry Kermit the Frog voice. 60% <laughs> of communication is based upon the tone that you're using, okay? Yeah. With the exception of emoticons, you can't really express tone when you're like, you know, other, and when you're typing an email or you're doing a text message, there's a reason why agents who are converting to their Zillow leads with video texts, video emails are getting better results than the ones that are doing text or sending out on a cold email autoresponder, right? 30% yeah. is the communication is based on the body language or how I'm speaking yeah. right now. You can't, you can't display your body language on, you know, text message. You know, you could a little bit with emoticon and they have hand gestures now. So you could be like this, you could do a fist bump, stuff like that. But <laughs> it's not the same thing, right? 10% is actually what you say. So a lot of agents are like, I don't know what to say video on. You know what? It doesn't freaking matter because 90% of the, what you say, people aren't going to remember anyway. So what the hell are you worried about? Don't worry about what you're saying. Worry about how you're saying it. Quit being so scared to do video and just start freaking doing it because all you have to do is just, and I'll prove a point. <laughs> Right behind me, you could see Big Block Realty, okay? I could be talking about chickens and waffles right now, and you would just automatically assume I'm talking about Big Block Realty because 80% of the video watched on Facebook has no freaking sound. So it's right. branding. Video is all branding, right. Play, right? If I cover that up, you don't know where I'm at. If I put it back, oh, that's the power of visual, you know, visual marketing, visual reminder, visual representation, right? That's all we're really getting at. So... The point is, is that, and I want you to think about it from this point of view, video allows you to connect. So like your Zillow profile should have a video on there because the truth is that people, video can, helps you convert because people look at you and size you up and they, they could see if they can picture themselves to doing business with you. And if you're a realtor right now and you think that people don't judge a Burke by their first cover, you're living in a fantasy world because people absolutely do. They're going to look at you and say, hey, can I picture spending my next four weekends in the car with this dude right dude, i think the question i'm asking right now is could you imagine if mike did drugs oh my gosh dude you're like the energizer bunny on steroids man i love you man you get wound up on something you get going on top of you like dude like you, it's so much how can you head. do a video on how can you do a webinar on video and branding right and what i'm talking teaching you is how to be yourself this is who i am right yes how, how would i how would i tell you how to be yourself on a webinar with michael right. hellickson if i wasn't quite being mine right that's, so, that's exactly my point my that's, brand. this is the same brand i had in chicago real estate dude it was like hey yo love it or leave it beat it dude i don't oh. really care Yes, you're going to turn off some people. That's okay. You should. And if you're not turning off people with your video, you're creating the wrong ones. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. You want to have haters. And then you want to hug them. So yeah, it's funny. <laughs> okay, so hold on. I got to jump in because there's a couple of, first of all, you've forgotten more about real estate than most people will ever know. So I just, I love everything you're saying. <laughs> so there's, there's a couple of things in here that, that one, I want you guys to think about this. People, Mike kind of touched on this earlier people don't care with, you know, they, they, first of all, they're, they're not going to remember what you told them, right? They don't even care what you, you know, about what you have to say if they, if they don't know that you care about them. But the big thing is that they're not going to remember what they will remember is how you made them feel. Yep. That's what they're going to remember. So the key is make them feel special and they will feel special about sure. you. Let's put, let's put, let's prove the point right here. Okay. And this has nothing to do with video, but it has to deal with communication. Now 
All right. So the first time I meet with a buyer, I go through what their closing costs are going to be. All right. That's on their first buyer consultation. So here's your closing cost, John. Remember it. Don't forget it. About three weeks later, halfway through the transaction, John's like, what are my closing costs again? John, these are your closing costs. Again, now don't forget it. Now, two weeks prior to the transaction closing, you're going to say, John, these are your closing costs. Again, don't get it. Now, two days prior to the closing, they get their, their Truth and Lending Act or whatever the, the disclosure statement the lender says. I'm like, no one told me about these transfer stamps. <laughs> what the hell? Who told me about these city transfer stamps here? What is, you're not a good agent. <laughs> Folks, you're talking to them about money that comes out of their pocket. Yeah. Right? You're talking about <laughs> the most important thing that most consumers care about is how much does it cost me? And they still don't retain what you tell them. Now, I guarantee yeah. you, if I would have done a handstand and explain closing, closing costs to them upside down, that they would be more likely to remember the closing costs because of how I communicated with them versus just verbally. So just understand that communication is way more uh, than just verbally. It's not. It's actually tonality and it's actually body language and, and how you speak. What your grandma said is right. Don't speak to me that way, Sonny. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's not how you say it, it's what you say it. Dude, just don't wait. If you're going to do the whole handstand thing, just don't do it in a kilt like you and Graham. <laughs> Can you imagine doing a, yeah, doing a handstand. Oh my God. That would be good. Doing a, doing a handstand on a, on a buyer's presentation in the middle of a restaurant. That would be funny. Um, I wouldn't put it past you. It's, and I got to say, Paula just said, she's like, hey, Mike H, I, I didn't think there was anyone that had more energy than you. Wow, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so what's the ROI on video? And honestly, it's a brand building strategy and it's unquantifiable. There's not really a way you can, you know, um, mm -hmm. this video made me this amount of money. But what Michael said earlier, you said it right on the dot. What you'll start to see, and this happens with everyone who has a consistent uh, Facebook Live show, that you, you'll ask them and people start saying, I don't know where I know you from, but I know you from somewhere. And that's when you know it's working. It's yeah. about being known. Real estate is a popularity contest. You want to be known as the realtor amongst your community. And when you are, 14% of them are moving this year and 100% of them know someone who's moving they can introduce your services to. This is the same business plan that any major business runs. This is the same business plan. Uh, well, not I would say any major business one, but um, in terms of referral based businesses, it's about building a brand that people know, like trust. And when you do that, they will refer you. Um, so let's go through um, the referral marketing strategy. Let's go through a little bit of the types of videos uh, people can create. Do you think we should go through that? I do. And here's, because you know, with that, first of all, I want to start with this. I, we're going to show you guys the types of videos you can and should create. I, what I want you to be very careful about is don't feel like you have to have the perfect game plan to get started. Just do something. Last night, I literally, here's what I did last night. So I got on, there's a, there's a coach up, up in, in, or an agent up in uh, San Francisco that, that uh, I made a bet with this guy that, uh, you know, he couldn't get this X number of people out to this event we were doing. And anyway, long story short, he got more people than I expected him to. So I lost the bet. So I had to wear, I'm even embarrassed to say this. A sweatsuit? I had to wear a Golden State Warriors jersey. <laughs> and, on, nice. and I had to do it on video. So I literally, I just pull up that Facebook Live. And I throw on this, you know, Golden State Warriors jersey. I get on Facebook Live. And all of a sudden, we get all this traction on this video. And it was just impromptu. It was nothing special. It was just me kind of making fun of him for making me, you know, you know, put this cone of shame on, essentially, with yes. this Golden State Warriors jersey. So just do something. That's, that's the first step. But go ahead, Mike. Tell us about some of the types so of videos. Here, here's the thing, too, with videos. It doesn't really matter. Remember who you're marketing to. And we're talking about market, using video to market for referral generation or repeat business activities. Basically, to stay in the know and not be, you know, the, the stats of, this, these, these stats are crazy. But new homeowners, I think you know it more than I do. But what, the percentage of people that never heard from their agent again. It's over 80%. Um, it's over 80%. Yeah. And, Using well videos is one of the ways that you just communicate and stay in touch with them. So we're going to go through five different types of videos a real estate agent can create that aren't really rocket science. And I'll, I'll go ahead and screen share. And I don't know if we'll get sound on these. Let's try it. Um, I'm curious. We'll try it. Let's see. And I won't play them all the way through either, but let me um, go through here and do PowerPoint. Tell me if you could see it. Um, and by the way, Paula, if you could do me a favor or anybody else that's on right now, if you guys could do me a favor and let us know if you are able to hear the sound when he gets going. Yeah. And can you see this? 
Michael? I can see it okay. so far. Let's see what happens when you hit play. I can see it, but I can't hear it. Okay. I could hear it, but. Yeah. We don't have any sound on my end. Do, uh, do, do any of you guys have sound? No sound on Paula's end either. Okay. So no sound. Oh, you had to throw Serpa on there. Oh, hey, I recognize that video. <laughs> that's yeah, a... well, we, won't, we won't show it all right now, but. You know, that's awesome. Those... That's a great video. For those of you that know David Serpa, um, you know, he's... We, we apologize. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, he's just... Our condolences. He's, he's, he's a character, you know, and that, that video really just shows his personality. He's wearing his LA hat. He's got his sunglasses on. But you know what? That's David's brand, yeah. right? And David's going to connect with some amount of people. So your about videos, honestly, is one of the most important videos that you could ever have on your website. Because if someone's visiting your website, what's the first thing that they do? They, if there's video, they watch the video. I want to know who the hell I'm working with. Right, that's what I'm saying. But so yeah. like, if I see a video of you on your website, I'm going to go watch that video because I'm lazy. I don't want to freaking read stuff, man. Just let me click a button and watch it. Now, the about video really just says here, this is how I roll. You like me or not? That's all yeah. it should do because think about it. People, and you can put this on your Zillow profile, your LinkedIn profile. It just shows who you are. And because the vast majority of consumers tend to put all real estate agents in the same category, People are really looking to see who they relate with the most, right? So the video yeah. just needs to tell that story. And the thing, the beauty about it is that you don't ever have to say you're in real estate. You really don't. The whole point is your visual branding, your logo should say you're in real estate. It should always be embedded in the bottom right-hand corner. That's how you really sell without selling. This is a branding play. So here's, yeah. a, here's, a, here's a mortgage broker, and this one's a little bit crazier. Yeah, we don't have any volume on that one either, but you know, Oh, so what's he going to do here? I'm curious. Oh, check that out. Nice. That's awesome. But you know, here's the thing too. If I'm scrolling through my feed and I see the screen flashing like that, and like all this crazy stuff, Absolutely. it's going to be my attention. And the first thing you got to do is there's you got to- reason. There's a reason why talking head videos are not working as much anymore. Yeah. And in today's world, you have to like stand out. It's, it's just like, it's about doing what others aren't, who won't or can't. Right. So in this video, this is a mortgage broker doing a video and he just wanted to be different. And what he ended up doing is he starts, he's doing green screen videos for real estate agents now to help them build their brands in their markets. And he's built his brand just doing this. And he was traditionally, yeah. he's a very serious guy. He's not an outgoing type of guy, but he loves footloose. <laughs> All right. And he, he, that was his little thing. We dug it out of him. Justin Barr dug it out of him. He's like, Hey dude, uh, what is, what do you love to do? He's like, honestly, I like, dancing to footloose at weddings like the most random thing ever so that's what we focus on and all we're trying to do is humanize humanize his brand well let's see what happened with this video was that he put it out there and he got freaking 1203 results now how can you take something so boring like mortgage broker and make it fun right that's what we're really talking about because his audience is the exact same thing 14% yeah. of people are moving this year 100% of people know someone who's moving so how do you stand out and creating content and creating valuable and videos and whatnot doesn't always have to deal with real estate. As a matter of fact, it shouldn't because people don't want to talk or hear about real estate when they're not in the market to buy or sell. And that's exactly how you market your brand to your database for referrals and repeat business. Dude, that's exactly um, like Serpa, right? I mean, here's a guy, he's killing it, right? He makes a ton of money on his team, does very, very well. And yet he is the craziest guy out there, right? Like he is a, he's a, in terms of, his brand is very energetic, very authentic. And when you watch a video of his or you listen to his podcast or whatever, it's rarely about real estate and very, very rarely is it about real estate. And if it is, yep. he's making real estate. <laughs> He'll appreciate this one. You have to, have to tell him I shared this. He's making real estate fun again. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's, that's really. Seriously, he, he's, he's out there and that's the thing because he understands that all he's got to do is just get more and more people to remember what he does for a living. And that's right. really all it is. Remember how busy our lives are, right? Um, people are sent so many different messages a, way, a day. So it's like, what can you do to sort of just keep building your brand? And none of this has to do with selling, right? This, we're not selling, we're not talking about real estate. So let's just talk about another storytelling activity you could do for your business. Oh, this is, I, I know what this is. I love these. Dude, I've seen, this is one of the things, one of the first things I saw you do that I was really impressed with was your neighborhood walk around videos and just the whole, I mean, it, seriously, it could easily be a TV show. The, the way you did these, I, I, I looked at it, it's like that, that belongs on HGTV. 
that's all we want when we're posting these, you know, yeah. part of our listing strategy isn't to sell the listing. Like you do videos on your listings to brand yourself and yep. share your story about what you're doing on a daily basis. And people like watching them. Like people, yeah. you know, love this over furnished freaking house. That was just disgusting the show, but um, you know, it doesn't look great on camera, but I, the video builds the brand of the agent. Plus yeah. you have to look at this too. It's 2017 folks. Um, if you're not doing videos on your listings, I mean, we have a lot of competition nowadays. Um, a lot of them are called like discount or flat fee brokerages. And this is the type of stuff that you have to do to compete because you could take the video, you could rank it, you could do a lot of other things with it. Well, not only that, but you can take, once you get that video ranked and once you get a lot of stuff happening with that video, you can, you can show the analytics of it to your client and say, Hey, look, yeah. you know, I just exposed your house to 24,000 people in the last 30 days. Show me an agent that's going to do that. All right. An agent on, for listing videos, you could create retargeting audiences out of people who watch 50% or more of your videos. And then you could start going after buyer leads. So the name of the game on the listing is always creating spinoff business and pleasing the client. That's how you stay in business. All right, so um, work smart, not necessarily hard. Now, if I wanted to create some type of content type videos, let's say uh, like in San Diego yesterday, there's an article that came out and it was about how the market was, I guess it's starting to slow here. I don't know the market here because I'm not from here, but the market is starting to slow down here and some of the homes are starting to sit because of the affordability issue. Mm -hmm. So there's an article that was written on that and that would be like the first thing I would do is give my spin on that content because that's something that homeowners absolutely want to know more about. So a content video is just something to build your authority. And that's what I was just going to say. That when you do a content video, it makes you the authority. People automatically think, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about because he's on video on a regular way. I see him all the time on video, whatever. So he, a natural, their natural assumption is you know what you're talking about. That's it. That's all it should be. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're talking about. If you're on video, you're an expert of some sort. Yeah. So it's not really about what you're saying as much as how you're saying it. And remember, every time you're, you're doing these videos, like you're, you're constantly re-emphasizing and re, um, you're telling your network what you do for a living. All right. So, and Mike, I'm noticing that you also, and I hope everybody else is noticing this too, you mix it up, right? You're not just doing one type of video. You do some green screen video. You do a lot of in, impromptu video. You do the, the, the fully production style video, which is what this neighborhood video is, for example. We'd call that a production video where, there's, where somebody's gone in and edited it and pieced it together and spliced it, made it really cool like a TV show. Uh, I mean, so you're mixing it up. And, and is, there, is there a formula or is it just keep it no. – no. It's just, it's the formula is consistency, right? It's no different than if we're going to go, how many agents direct mail farm a neighborhood, right? Wow. You, you direct mail farm a neighborhood and you know, after one month it doesn't work, but after three years you start, it starts working. Why? Because you start building that brand and that market presence. And when you're using, that's what video does. Video gives you name brand recognition amongst your audience so that the people, when they see real estate, they start to vision your brand. No different than when I see Nike, I start to think of sports and, you know, sweat and, you know, and competition. That's all we want. When you can achieve name brand recognition with, um, with your marketing, that's all this is. That's really all it is. And that's why yeah. we do a Patty's Day video right? We're having fun with what we're doing. We're, we're doing a video talking about how we're all going to go out and get absolutely hammered for 24 hours straight. And we're having fun doing it. This is a big event in Chicago. Everybody does it, right? So it's like, um, everybody except my, the, the Mormons. Except, <laughs> my, <laughs> that, I got to throw, throw that. What's that? That Michael Hellickson, but yeah, I'm like the only guy, if I was in Chicago on St. Patty's day, everybody would be like, who's the sober guy? <laughs> like, what's his issue? I just want to show you the end of this video, just a, a cute way on how you could tie in your branding. Drink smart, <laughs> choose your agent smarter. That's awesome. <laughs> so it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't really matter what you do, but as long as it's consistent. So these are really um, cool. Think now start thinking about transactional videos. Uh, we just start putting these together. I'm just going to show you the end result here because so there's a uh, videos that you can create to sort of share your story as you're going throughout your transaction um, on your daily basis. Right. And mm -hmm. that's why, you know, the way you market your business, um, well, at least I do. And what we teach a lot is, is through storytelling. So during the course of the transaction, there's no higher chance to get a referral. Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. That's when people are the most excited, the happiest, and they think that you're a rock star. 
So it's we want to six months after not talking to him after the transaction that they forget who you are. You also said something very important. It's not about what you do. It's how you make them feel. That's Absolutely. right. It's all so, about how you feel. We call these transactional videos. You're like, you know how lighter side of real estate, they have all those memes. So we started creating video memes, right? So think about it. When you get a referral, right? When you get a referral, what should um, you do for that referral? The very first thing, you have to acknowledge it, right? Um, you have to call the client. So we would send a video like this in the form of a video email. Ah, I love it. Which, by the way, one of the things I really like about this is it doesn't matter if they've got sound or not. Because remember, 15 seconds. You're exactly right. Yeah, 75% of all video on Facebook is watched without sound. Uh, and so, you know, because people are in their office or they're wherever, they're in a place where they, you know, a restaurant or whatever, and they can't be, they don't want to turn their volume up if for no other reason than they don't want to be embarrassed of, you know, in front of the people around them that, oh, I'm listening to whatever it is, but they're interested in it. So that's where captioning really makes a big difference. And I like the way you did it in the speech bubbles. And, and well, uh, look at what, ha look what lighter, all we did was take what lighter side of real estate is doing because all, how many realtors do you see when they get a referral or a clear to close, share some meme that says clear to close. And you're like, yes. We're like, all right, so let's revolutionize that. Let's create video memes that share our story. And then when you send that to the client for referral programming, I mean, you are referral programming them. That's you're right. Saying, Thank you for the referral. You're sharing that on Facebook. You're tagging them on Facebook. You're letting their audience know that, you're, that you work off referrals. You're letting them, your audience, know that you work off referrals. And it's all marketing. And same concept in a clear to close video. So real quick question. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, go ahead with the clear to close. After you get done with the clear to close, I want to share the question we've got here. Oh yeah. See, look at that. Again, message completely shared without, you don't have to say a word. There's no sound required. Love it. Um, so talk to me about this because uh, Crystal Hoover is asking and great question, Crystal. Uh, what video platforms or apps do you recommend? Um, I mean, there's not really a video platform or an app I'd recommend because all of this stuff is done offline. I know there's companies like uh, Viral. Um, I know there's yeah. companies that will create some of your videos, but the point is that your video should not be more than a minute and a half. Um, I'm starting a new video series of my real estate marketing, dude, and it's all a minute or less because nobody's going to watch the full thing. It's more so about like getting, it's, it's a reminder, right? This is a branding play. And I'll be doing minute long videos because I'm writing a lot of content to get them to click on the content. So the video is selling the click in that sense. Um, if you're, there's no set platform, I would, I would tell you, but the, the magic is in the editor. All right. Crappy video now is crappy videos now aren't going to have as much of an effect. And I believe if you're going to spend money and invest this route, then you might as well do it with something that's going to be entertaining. And that's the key. Um, you want your, you want it to be entertaining is the, is the yep. biggest key. If does that help? Yeah, no, I agree. I think, well, and Crystal, I hope that that, that answers your question. I, I agree with you that I, I don't think that the mechanism is as important as the entertainment value. And, and it depends on what type of video it is. If it's content videos, make it great content, right? Don't have crap content. You got to have really solid content that brings value. And that's the other thing. Don't focus so much on I've got to get them to buy from me or sell through me. Focus on bringing value to them because when I bring yes. them value consistently over a long period of time and they begin to see me as the value person, guess what? The, the natural conclusion is when they are ready to do business, it's going to be with me. Yes. Your videos should never be about selling anything. They should be about creating value for someone you haven't met um, before or entertaining your current database. And the yeah, it's, it's the same way. What you do, how you develop a relationship online is no different than how you would do it offline. And you have to think about it is that you would be, you know, if I'm going to meet it, like I just moved to San Diego, I'm meeting a lot of new friends, right? So what's the first thing I do? The first thing I do isn't like, hey, you want to buy something for me? No, it's, hey, why don't you come over to our house? Let's have some drinks. We'll cook you guys dinner and let's do something. I want to do something of value so I could create a relationship with them. It's no different from an online audience, especially for those of you that are going after cold leads, cold marketing and chasing after leads. You got to have something to warm them up to you, right? So there's a reason why on Facebook, you can't just go straight for the lead anymore. You usually have to do like, you have to warm them up a little bit. And first you warm them up with value and then you retarget those people that you've warmed up that have been interested in what value you had to give them. 
Well, look, so like, I like to compare it to a, a blind date. You know, if you've yeah. ever been on a blind date, you know, and, and I think you've probably heard me share this before, Mike, but you know, you go on a blind date, you knock on the door, you show, you know, the door opens up and it's the girl on the other side of the door. And, and, and what do you do, right? You immediately just go right in for the kiss, right? No, yeah. of course not. Unless your name's Cuevas, then maybe. That's how you, that's how you get punched in the face. <laughs> exactly. You get a black Especially out. in Chicago, right? Yeah. So, so Chicago, what do you do? They, don't, they don't punch you in the face. They go straight for their firearm. Exactly. <laughs> but see, the point is that you've got to build rapport first. Take her to dinner. Take her to a movie. Do something. Buy her some flowers. You know, show some semblance of you actually care about the person right. and that you're not treating them like a freaking number. There's nothing more irritating than people that treat their clients like a number. And they go and, and you guys are doing this in your market, not you, Mike, but but people out there. A lot of the agents watching this. You're doing this with your marketing right now. You're going straight for the kiss. And what you don't realize is you haven't earned the right to even ask for the kiss yet. You have to first earn the right to hold their hand and you're not there yet. Here, let's give them our example in our businesses, right? You know, we both educate real estate agents. You run a really successful coaching company. Uh, my platform is based upon helping agents build a brand that people right. remember, right? So we have to create content to create value for real estate agents. There's a reason why I have my podcast. There's a reason why I write blogs. I try to stay consistent at once a week. And it's because I wanna constantly be creating value for all of you folks. And the more value I create for you, maybe some of you will end up buying into my platform. That's how this world works, yeah. right? Michael goes around and he wants to educate and he's just all about serving first, serving first, serving first, serving first. It's how we all work, right? We, we this is, the uh, business model that we stole straight out of the Bible, serve others first and other things will happen, you know, good to you or back to you. And that's truly what you have to do as a real estate agent is I don't, the service is becoming more and more uh, a factor in today's industry than ever before. And yeah. you know, it's, it's about how you ultimately make someone feel. Um, yeah, you're right. So let's yeah. go through the distribution part because people are gonna be like, Oh, I got these videos. Now what do I do with them? Okay. All right. Let's make sure we know what to do with them. There's three things you want to do when you distribute your videos or once you get your videos done and you want to, you got to let people see them. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? You know, you could have the best video in the world, but if no one sees it, what's the, you know, what's the point? Think like million dollar shave um, commercial or that, that video. Like if that never got distributed, would that company have ever taken off? Right. So when we're talking about distributing our videos for our warm marketing efforts, being uh, getting them to our database or our network, which is what I primarily recommend using video for um, one, I'm going to send it through video email. Okay. People don't want your turn back the clock emails anymore. They don't want to talk about your real estate market updates. They don't care about that. And if you don't believe it, me, I'm, I'm sorry, I got to jump in there. Unless it's believe? Mike Bjorkman, Mike loves getting your turn back the clock emails. So if you guys know Bjorkman, <laughs> Please put him on your list yes. for the turn back the clock. Email. Oh yeah. That's funny. <laughs> He's um, going to kill me for that one. Yeah. But you're he, right. Like they're sick of that stuff. Right? Give him, give him, make sure they have his email address too. Oh, I got to get it. It's, it's, what is it? Write it, on the write it on the board right behind you. T uh, you know, I'll get Terry to get that. You explain this. I'll get Terry to right. get his email address. You guys got to email. <laughs> no, so, and, and here's the thing. Think about how video email marketing is working. Right. And, and bomb bomb had these stats. Bomb bomb came out and said that 13% of your emails get opened. Well, when we started using video email like four or five years ago, um, that open rate started going to 45, 55, 65%. People like Mike Bjorkman who have built a brand in their market and really have a network of people that are following them. I mean, they're getting as high as like 80% in some cases. So you have to think about if you're only getting a 13% open rate on your emails, what the hell's the point of seeing it, sending it to begin with? Because 87% of the people are not seeing it. And that defeats the whole purpose of sending an email to begin with. You know what I mean? So we use video email as an excuse um, to stay, keep our brand in front of our, e our audience. And it's one of the five videos that we just showed you. Secondly, we're going to go ahead and post this on all of your social media profiles. Mm -hmm. right? That's referral marketing. Social media is nothing more than an extension of marketing your database. And yes, folks, don't do this. Put it on your business page. But for referral marketing efforts, your, your friends don't hang out on your business page. You're not that cool. They're going to hang out on your personal page. All right. That's where they know you're at. So yes, you're going to have to talk business on your personal page, but if you're selling without selling in the way we're showing you, you're never ever being a douche about it.
Now, so I got to stop you right there for a couple of things. Number one, first of all, if you only choose one social media profile, it's Facebook, period. Correct. End of story, Facebook. Second, Mike is completely correct on this. You guys, so many agents think, oh, I've got a business page, so I'm good to go. No. You know, they say, oh, I want to keep my business and my personal separate. No. That's a great plan if you want to stay broke. So what you need to do is you need to understand there's only one, or there's two reasons why you have a business page. That's it. There's only two reasons. Number one is so that you can run ads. Number two is so that you can get Facebook reviews. That's it. Those are the only two reasons you need the Facebook business page. Your personal page is where the magic happens. That's where you can tag people, you can get tagged. And look, if you're doing stuff in your life that you don't want people to know about, maybe you shouldn't post it on Facebook. But now, if you're authentic with who you are and you want to attract people that are cool with who you are, then be who you are. Right? Well, you're, you're exactly right because uh, this isn't a job, this is a lifestyle. And Facebook is about lifestyle. So you cannot keep your real estate lifestyle out of your social Facebook presence and expect it to work for you. Um, there's not a better free platform to market your business. And, and honestly, there's a lot of agents who don't have to do much marketing. As long as they know how to story tell on Facebook, they're literally running a good, a good business just off of Facebook on their personal page. And it's well, just a constant reminder off of what you do. If you hide in the closet your entire life, don't tell anyone you're in real estate. You don't come out and tell everyone what your business is or what you're doing you're not going to be able to receive the referrals or, or direct business. Right. right. It's like, here's the way I like saying it when I'm, when I'm speaking, if I were to start a new restaurant um, up in San Diego here, because you know, I'm not selling real estate anymore. So I, why not start a taco stand? That's what Mexicans do. Right. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm, <laughs> oh my I'm going God. I'm gonna to go ahead and start a taco <laughs> stand here. And um, me not, marketing my videos on social media would be like me not putting a sign in front of my restaurant that says I sell tacos. All right. It's, it's the same freaking thing. That's where your biggest bit source of business. It really shouldn't surprise from. me that you just said that. I'm sorry. I'm still, I can't say I'm Mexican, man. I know. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. Tacos. I'm saying. I, you know me, I've had tacos seven times this week. So oh six days a week. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, um, dude, you're killing me. My, my in-laws are in town too. So that helps out a little bit. Oh, you're but, killing um, me. All right, the last place you put it, folks, is on your website. Hang on one second. Wait, 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 hold on. Before you go to the last place on distribution, I want to share. You talked about storytelling. Sure. Storytelling, you guys, is so important. Too often, agents get out there and they're like, oh, look, I sold another one. Or, oh, another closing. Or, you know, oh, I listed another one. Nobody freaking cares. That's bragging. If people actually would probably, they would st probably, that's bragging, though. That's right. And people, some people don't like others to make money for whatever reason in this country anymore. So, if you're right. constantly talking about how you're selling and how you're making money, you start sort of subliminally creating that impression that this guy just makes a lot of money. And it's not, I just sold this house. It's, I just helped this family of four get into a house that saved them 22, that saved them $200 a month more than what they expected. That's a story. And it, who cares how much money you made? It's not about you. It's about and, and I would even go a step further. I wouldn't even say I sold them the house. I would say, you know, I feel so fortunate to have known the Johnsons. You know, the Johnsons, he was in the yeah. army, he was in Afghanistan and blah, blah. And, you know, he's been, you know, this family has been looking for a home for three years and they, they use their zero down military benefit to be able to get into their first home. And here's a video of them in the backyard playing with the dog and the kids. And, you know, like just, you got to tell their story. And when you make it about them, you're endearing to people and people love to hear about that story. And that's why reality TV is so popular. People find other people's lives more interesting than their own, but it's when someone else is telling the story of somebody else's life, not when somebody's telling the story of their own life. You're exactly right. So there's an agent here in uh, Riverside County. Um, he's a big block agent. And uh, you know, I've been, he's start now what he's doing is really cool. He's doing on Facebook is that when he's doing the final walkthrough um, he is now sharing that story and about how that he's a military guy. So he helps a lot of military families. And he's telling that story about how the military veteran, you know, literally has just found this house and just, just a quick little story and how they found the house. And it's also double, he's doubling it on and, and multi-purposing it as a testimonial, a video testimonial. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's great. And it's going out there and I'm pretty, it's working for him. It's yeah. absolutely the way That's it goes. Huge. Um, That's huge. That's awesome. Okay. So distribution channel number three. Uh, your website, you know, if you don't have a website, you know, you can't really run Facebook ads. I don't think I know everyone's trying to go with lead ads, but ultimately you still need a website, 
Um, you know, you can't do online marketing without a, a website. I can't sell tacos without a kitchen, right? So it's like, what, <laughs> what, do we, what, what, what can we do? And you, know, you got to have a website. And that's the thing with videos is that if you go to my website, please folks, Chicago real estate dude.com. The website is literally collecting dust in the last three months, but you'll see that every page on my old site had a video on top of it. Why? Because it was the video that connected with the people that would land on those pages. My Facebook marketing strategy was drive a lot of traffic to my website and let my videos and content do the converting. And that's exactly what happened because I had really good content. So the videos will live forever on your website. Just don't forget to put them there and have a purpose around the videos um, that you're putting. Up. And don't worry if you don't have 3,000 views on each one of your videos. That's not as important. And now, someday those views will come and they do help create social proof and that's all good. But don't feel bad if you don't. If, you know, just get quality videos out there and make sure that they're authentic with who you are. Yep. So, so in terms of the referral marketing, that's it. Uh, do you have questions you want to cover on that? And I don't know how we're doing on time because I still we have are, a whole- Literally, we've got five minutes left and that's it. So those okay. of you that have questions, good, there's a good time to ask them because if you don't ask now, we're not going to probably be able to get to them. So make sure you type them into your, your, your questions box uh, and we'll get those answered. So in terms Here. of referral, well, go ahead, Mike. Um, so what we were going to cover was now how to use video as a cold marketing strategy, how to get them to rank on YouTube, how to get your videos found from people searching for your content and all that. But since we don't have time to do it, um, you're going to have to come to the club wealth BSM, um, mastermind on November 9th and feel free to buy me a beer and I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. So you guys, here's the, and by the way, very seriously, if you haven't signed up for that event yet, get signed up. It's going to be amazing. You guys are going to love it. I promise you. And by the way, if, it, for those of you that do get signed up and come out to the event, by the end of day two, if you don't agree that it's the best real estate event you've ever attended, I will literally personally give you double your ticket price back. Now, that being said, you'll have to leave. I'm going to take your book and you got to leave at that point, but nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever asked for their money back. I guarantee you it will absolutely be the best event you've ever attended in real estate. Uh, and to get signed up for that, I'm going to take Mike's email address off here. I was going to put it in there, but I think we'll spare him. Um, so it's a uh, clock. I would send him four turn back to clock emails, but I would do it through videos. Oh yeah, that would be, that'd be awesome. So there's the, the, the website to go to uh, clubwealth.com forward slash BSM. Uh, there's literally, we're down, uh, and I don't know the exact number, but I know we're well below 30 tickets left. So you got to get in there and it's going to sell out and it's probably going to sell out in the next two to four days. Uh, anyway, that being said, uh, Mike, first of all, we are just, we're completely out of time. I love you. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you coming on and sharing with us. Um, if there was one thing you could tell people about video and wrapping up today, what one message do you want to drive home about video? You'll never be perfect. Quit trying to be. Um, and you got to start somewhere. Like my first video was the worst thing I've ever done, but it's just like, um, you know, your first house you sold was probably a little nerve wracking too. And the truth is, is that if you want to build a brand, um, get in the video game because someone else in your market already is. And if you're not going to do it, then, you know, don't be mad in three years from now when you're like, well, that guy passed up my production. And if you start realizing how he built his brand, you're going to be looking in hindsight. Yep. Yep. I love it. All right. So how do we get a hold of you? Those and then Paula, thank you. Yes. We're, you're, you're welcome. We're you're our pleasure. We're very happy to do these. Uh, and by the way, the only reason we're able to do these is because of people like you, if you weren't on, then we wouldn't be doing these. So thank you very much. So Mike, uh, how does someone get a hold of you? Um, go to my website. It's pretty easy to remember real estate marketing dude.com. Um, we all know how to spell that. So I won't go through that, but real estate marketing dude.com join our sign up for our podcast, get subscribed and uh, check out our blog. I mean, it's like a free marketing course. We don't sell our content. We actually give it away. So, um, literally everything you want to know about it is there. We're not gurus. Um, steal it, please. Right on. I love it. All right, you guys, listen, uh, first of all, let's all thank Mike. Appreciate it, Mike. We're all giving you a virtual round of applause there. Yeah, baby. All right, and we're looking forward to hearing you at uh, Business Strategy Mastermind Conference. Uh, so here's the thing. Inside each one of you, there is a world-class beast just dying to get out. Listen, you got to choose to unleash that beast. You hear me say this a lot. It's true. Even if you feel like you're not world-class, even if you feel like a schmuck, or even if you just 
are not where you want to be, don't worry about it. Go do something world class. Make your bed in a world class way. You know, do do a handwritten personal note to someone in a world class way. Just do something world class and then build on that. But know this, whether you understand it or believe it or not, I know, understand, and believe in you and believe that inside each one of you, there really truly is a world class piece just dying to get out. Have an awesome day, everybody. And again, Mike, thank, thank you, you guys so very much. Bye-bye.